Figma Buzz was one of the new amazing products that were launched at Config 2025. I'm going to show you how to bulk create multiple assets like that. Let's jump in. Now, Figma Buzz is right now in beta and it is available to all. In order to create a new file, all you need to do is go to the Create dropdown and select Buzz. Now, when you open it, you'll get this pop up and you can choose from the insane amount of templates that are already in there. So I can just explore through here. If I have already published any of my own templates, I will find them here in from TD Sunshine. So let's say I have an Instagram channel and I want to create something for social media. So I'll go into social and then I'll have a look around. I'm looking for something where I can put in a quote. So let's say this one and I just add in the template. Simple as that. You'll notice that the panels are very different than what we're used to in Figma design. So let's have a look at those. On the left hand side is where we're going to be doing everything. And at the top, you see it says untitled. That's the name of the file. So let's change it to posts. Um, and then underneath, it's telling me what projects it sits in. And then I have the list of assets. So if, for example, I have multiple assets, let me just select this one and then duplicate it. Command D. You'll see that now I have this one and I have that one. So if I'll just change something here. See that that's this one, that's that one, yeah? I have two ways of viewing all of my assets that are on the page. I can view them like this, where I have a list of them, and I can't really move around, so I'm trying to drag around the canvas. It won't let me go to the other one, but I can go into grid view, and then I see all of them at once. So then I can kind of zoom in between the two and see all of them at the same time. When I'm on grid view, I can also use these pluses to quickly add another one, which is exactly, which is going to almost duplicate the assets that I already have. When I'm selecting one of these assets, there'll be a drop down at the top to quickly change the sort of frame that the asset is in. So firstly, I have a drop down of the different sizes and same with how we have frames in Figma design. I have pre-configured frame sizes in here for different social things like LinkedIn, Pinterest, uh, a name tag, a Zoom background, anything like that. And I can also do a custom size and put in my own. Then I can control the background of the frame. So right now it's set to a gradient. I can adjust this gradient and we get the similar picker to what we're used to in Figma design. So you can see I can change the colors around, do whatever I want, add new gradient points. I can also change it to be a single solid color or an image if I want that as well. But I was kind of happy with my gradient. Next to it, I then can select the border. It could be a solid border or a dashed border as well. And then I also have some AI tools that are just handy and ready for me to use, like translate or rewrite the text inside. The next thing on my panel is templates. So the same pop-up that we had at the start is also accessible from this panel on the left. And I can choose to use a new palette. So let's say I also want to make this one. So you see now I have two of them. I'll delete that one. Underneath, I have some tools to add elements onto my assets. I can start with a blank page. So right when I click on this plus over here, it just gives me a blank asset and I can recreate anything I want on top of it. So for example, I can go to text and then I can just add a text box. And then it's a, just a blank text box like we would in Figma design. But I can also use text elements that are already implemented into Buzz to just to make things very quick for me. So for example, I can just drag in, let's say this title over here and then drag it in. And you'll notice that there's two different styles here, but when I make this bigger by dragging, it will make the text larger. So it's simplifying how it would have been in Figma design. And when I double click into one of them, I can change anything I want. So I can make it slanted, I can make it uh, italic, change the font size. When it comes to fonts right now, what I've noticed is if I go in to select the font, it will only give me fonts that are already on the page for me to be able to use. I don't know if this is a limitation that will stay or if it's a bug, but for now, unless I switch into Figma design, I can't change the font unless it's something that's already on the page. I can also change the color, add strokes, anything that you want to do with text. And of course, I also have the AI tools for manipulating this text using AI. Next up, I can also add in some images and I can either make an image using AI or upload one from my computer. And then I have a huge amount of shapes to choose from to add in here. Let's say I can add this and when I add in a shape, I can then also change its fill color, its border color, add some effects to it, or give it a border radius. For every element in the three dots, I will also get the alignment tools so I can make sure that it's centered inside of the frame that it's in. Then at the very end on our left panel, I also have inserts. Our inserts are similar to like stickers that we have in Fig Jam. So I've got loads of different things coming from the community. You can also add your own. So for example, I can add in a library, go into my team. And then I know that I have my doodle arrows that you can buy on my Etsy shop. So I can 
add them in, it's basically just a published file that has components. And then I can drag in one of those, which is a component. Now, when you do have components that have different variants inside of your file, on the top bar, you'll have swap content. When you click on that, you will get a kind of a pop-up, very similar to FigJam, with the different variants that are inside of this component. And then you can just swap between them really easily. My goal in this video is to bulk create a bunch of Instagram posts that will have a quote from a musical theater song, the name of the musical it's taken from, the year that musical was released, and then a lovely picture of sunset or sunrise or something like that. Let's set that up. So I'm going to use this as my base for uh, this post. I'm gonna move this text a bit up. So I'll just select both of it and drag it up a bit. And I wanna add in an image, make an image, I'll ask of a sunset, super simple. It is gonna be a square. So I'm gonna to have to edit that a bit because I want it to fit inside of here. So I do wanna make this a bit smaller, but I see that aspect ratio is locked on this image, meaning that I can't make it something that isn't a square. So in order to fix that, I'm gonna to have to swap to design mode. Right now, there's limited amounts that I can do on this page. Like we saw here, I can only choose from fonts that are already in the canvas. Um, I can move some stuff around, but there's limitations. So in order to break that kind of lock, in the bottom toolbar, I can just change to design mode. And then I get the design panel that we know and love on the right-hand side. So I'll unlock the aspect ratio. I'll drag this to be a bit bigger. Then I'll probably make give it some rounded corners, maybe like 30%. And then I wanna add an effect. I want some noise on top of it. Yeah, because I want it to be like really grainy. When I'm in design mode, I can just to show you change this to all fonts and then select whatever font I want. It's not just the ones that are on the page already. Now I'll exit design mode. So I'm back in my clean buzz space. When I wanna edit the things that are on this page, I can just double click in to write inside of them, but I can go into edit content on the left where I do have this panel that quickly shows me everything that's on the canvas. And I can just edit it from here, which is really good. So let's say this quote, I wanna double click here and I'll say the sun will come out tomorrow. And then, mm. so you see, I've got these labels here. It says source above it. Now I don't want that to say source. I want that to be musical. And then instead of author, I want that to be year, right? Cause that's what I'm gonna write there. So in order to change these labels, I need to switch back into design mode and change the names of these layers. So use my toggle, go into design mode. Then when I select something, I do need to leave this edit content in order to do that. So I'll click on the X and I have my layers here at the bottom like I would in a design file. So quote is fine for this one. This one is going to be musical. And then this one is going to be year. So now when I switch back into buzz, go into edit content, you see that my labels have changed. So this musical is gonna be Annie and the year is going to be 1977. So I can go in and do this for every single asset, but I don't wanna do that. What I wanna do is bulk create, right? So I wanna take this asset, plug in all of the information and have it created for me. Now, in order to bulk create, we do need to create a spreadsheet that will have all of the information inside of it. And then we kind of feed it into Figma Buzz. The best way to create a spreadsheet for Figma Buzz is using Google Sheets. The reason that we wanna use Google Sheets is because it allows us to put images inside of it. If you don't need images, you can just do it in Excel. But if you want images, Google Sheets is the way to go. Now you'll notice that at the top, I put in sort of the names of each of these columns. That is really important. When we plug this table into Figma Buzz, it's going to assume that the first row is headers. So if it's not labeled in a way that we know what it is, it's not gonna work. In order to insert an image into Google Sheets, all you need to do is select one of the cells, go to insert, image and then insert image in cell. You'll get this pop-up where you can select where you wanna get it from. Is it a file on your computer? Do you wanna find it on Google Drive? Wherever it is and bring it in. Another important thing to note about images, if you want this to work with Figma Buzz, you can only have one image per cell. Now I need to now save this onto my computer. So in order to do that, I'll click on file and then download. If I was just using text, I can use a CSV or an XLSX, but because I'm using images, it has to be XLSX for it to work. So I'll click on that and then save it on my computer wherever I want to save it. Now comes the fun part. I'm going to upload my spreadsheet into Figma Buzz. So I'll do that on the left panel, go to bulk create and upload my XLSX file. And straight away, what it will do is it will go through that table and look at those header cells and bring them in on the left. So you can see now I've got lyrics, I've got date, I've got musical, and I've got image, which were my header cells from before. 
Now, one thing that's important to note, you can't merge these. So I can assign each column to a specific element on the page. I can't assign two into one. So if, for example, I have one column for last name, one column for first name, in my template, those will need to be two separate text nodes. Now, how do I connect these? Firstly, I need to select the text node on the page. So let's say this one is the quote. And then I select, you'll see that when I'm hovering over them, there's like a plus. I need to select which column is it taking the data from. So this one is gonna take from lyrics. Now you see it's pink, so it's connected, and you see that it's telling me who it's connected to. This one is gonna to connect to the musical, this one is gonna to connect to the date, and then this one is gonna to connect to the image. Are we ready for the magic? Now I can click create 10 assets. It's done it, yeah, it's amazing. So you see, it's selected the different images for both, it's done the text for them, and even when I zoom in, you see that that effect of the noise that I had still remains for all of the images. So nothing gets broken, which is incredible. Some of them, the, the text was a bit too long uh, to, to fit in the page, but like, then I can go in and adjust this as I need to. Now you'll also notice that all of them are named untitled right now, and that's not very good. So if I select all of them and Command R, I can still use my bulk renaming tool like we do in Figma Design. So for example, I can call these post and then number up, rename. So now it's gonna rename them consecutively. So post one, post two, post three, post four, post five. Insane, but it doesn't end here. So remember that drop down that we had before. If I select this one, I'll just call it post and then I'm going to duplicate it. So create another one just like it, but this one is going to be, let's say an Instagram story. So like that, I'll take these two, move them down, maybe also make them a bit bigger. So I want this text to be larger, something like that. I'll pull this down as well, like that. And then in the Instagram story, let's say I wanna make it in, in blue colors. Yeah, so I'm just gonna change that here or purpley. Yeah, that's nice. And I also want another version of this. So I will duplicate this one. Instead of an Instagram story, I want this to be uh, a Facebook post. Yeah, and it just looks like that, which is good for me. I'll remove this quote, move that up. Maybe I will make this a bit smaller. That works, okay? So I've got a post, I've got a story, and I've got a Facebook. I'm gonna remake all of these at once. Go into Bulk Create, upload your spreadsheet once again, and now I'll select this quote, holding down Shift, I'll select all of these together, and click on lyrics. So I can connect multiple things from multiple different assets and frames into one column. Uh, I'll do the same with the image on here and on here. Do the same with these two. So it's the musical and then the date over here. Now I'm gonna create the assets. Look at that, yeah? So it's now created all three of those kinds of assets multiple times for me using that same spreadsheet. And they are separated into rows and I can reorder them in the rows. So I can grab them from here, move that up, move that down. Again, they are just named whatever the, the original one was named. So this one is named post, this one story, and this one Facebook. But I can go in and do that bulk renaming like we did before. And then once I'm ready, I can select all of these. So command A and it just selects everything on the page and export. And I can export either all of the assets, I can decide just the post, just the stories, I can just kind of tick off whichever ones I don't want. And similar to how we can in Figma, I can export these as PDFs, JPEGs, or PNGs. I can't export them as SVGs for now, which kind of makes sense. Um, and then I can do them in multiple sizes as well. So that was a quick overview of Figma Buzz. It is an incredibly powerful tool that will make people's lives so much faster when doing marketing or, or social media or anything like that. I'm sure Canva is shaking in their boots a little bit. It's still got a way to go, but it's an amazing kind of first launch of a product. And I can't wait to see where it goes next. And that's that. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a comment below. Let me know what other videos you want to see and what you are most excited about from the new config announcements. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you at the next one.